Hello guys, today I'll be showing you what, oh, oh, whoops, okay, yeah, today I'll, yeah, today I will be showing you how I make all of my thumbnails, like, hold on. I'll be showing you how I make all my thumbnails. So, I make my thumbnails with Pixel. If you don't know what this is, it's like a photo editor and, and, and design stuff. It like lets you, um, it like, it's like meant for making thumbnails or like, at that time, this is actually how I made my, um, YouTube profile picture. I used this. The picture of like the V. Yeah, the V with like the electric going into it. This is how I made that. So when you go into pixlr.com, hit pixlr E, and then hit, oh, hit create new, and then hit thumb 720p, and then hit create. And that should bring you to this. So, here's a sneak peek of one of the, um, where did that one go? I'll give you guys a sneak peek of one of my other thumbnails that will soon be a video on a video right here modded in lobby lo modding in modded lobbies part two this is one of my other thumbnails so let's just copy this real quick all right all right now I'm gonna just do the uh, what I normally do, I'm just actually I'm just gonna do a thumb thumbnail for this video. So I usually just go on Google and then I search up like picture of stump gorilla attack, right? Something like that. Picture of stump on gorilla attack. Then I go to images and then just and then I just copy whatever I find there. Copy image and then I go to edit and then go to paste. And then there it is. Now I just size it down to make it so it looks good. Just like this. Size it down enough. Like that. Oh, yeah. And then I blur it a lot of the time. So I go to filter, details, and then blur. And I add some blur to it. Like that. And then that's the background of everything. So then I would, for this video, I would add like, want to add like words or something, right? So you hit this T button right th thing right here. And then you click on something, on any part of the background. And then you hit add. And then you type whatever you have to. So in, that, in this case, it would be how to make... Um, actually, like just anything you want, like, hmm, make my thumbnails, I guess, and an exclamation point. And then, if you want a different font to it, you click on it, and then you go to font, click this. And then you do whatever font you want. I want to do this. And then do that, that, that. So, there we go. Now it should look like this if you did it like that. I want to have, I want to add a curve to it. So I'm going to add a curve to it, just like that. Oh, it's kind of big. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Okay. Yeah, and then you can make it bigger by doing that. And there you go. You now have words on your thumbnail. And I kind of want it bigger than that. Oh. Um. Okay. There we go. 
and then you can turn it side to side by doing this like that okay and then now you have words on your thumbnail just like that I'm not going to add a curve because I think it just looks better without the curve I'm gonna do like that, I think. Uh, nah. That. I don't know. How about that? Yeah, I think that looks nice. And then we do that. Alright. And then you can change the color by going to fill and then clicking next to it. And you can change the color to anything you want. This is my gorilla tag color right here, so I'm going to change it to that. And then there you go. You now have words and they look nice. So actually, you can also add a shadow if you want to by going to styles right here. Clicking on shadow. Blur. This is what I do most of the time. I go to blur, go to color, black, and then I change the distance to like right there. And then the direction and the opacity to like not like a hundred but like that. And there you go. That's what I do. But um now you can copy an image, another one. In that case I'm just going to copy like um this thumbnail. I guess. Copy. This thumbnail is not released yet, so I don't know if I want to do that. Oh. Oh, okay. So I can't do that. Alright, cool. How do you save? Okay. I have a better idea. There we go. Oh, oh, go. Okay. And then you can just make like a mini thumbnail in the corner. Or a mini something in the corner. Add like an image. Because I'm doing how to make my own thumbnails. So I'm adding my own thumbnails in the thumbnail. So it's a thumbnail and a thumbnail. That's weird. But, yeah, thumbnail and a thumbnail. That's cool, I guess. And then we can add a picture of a gorilla. How about that? Of a gorilla from gorilla tag. Make sure I'm still recording you. Picture of a gorilla from gorilla tag. There we go, and then make sure it has the checkered background, and then hit copy image, and go to edit, paste, and there you go, there's your gorilla. And then we can make him like waving or something in the corner. Make him like that. How to make my thumbnails. Yes. Um... What else could we add here? Because it already looks nice. But, you know something that we can add? Speed lines. Those are good lines. PNG. Make sure it's a PNG. A P oh, sorry. A PNG. If it's not, then it might not be good. And then go to one that you like, copy image, paste. And you can do that. Oh, I. Oh. Let's put this in the middle right here. Oh, maybe we can like. Let's put this a bit here. There we go. Speed lines. And there you go. Now your thumbnail looks finished. So then, when you're finished with it, go to edit. Oh. 
and then you can go to oh no not edit file export click export pages png and then save it to whatever just I'm just gonna save it just like that and now you're done with your thumbnail you can edit up with you can edit it up with YouTube studio I hope this video maybe helped you and you found you a better way to learn how to edit or make your um, thumbnail <laughs> but uh, yeah make sure to like subscribe turn on notifications and yeah I'll see you all in the next video